Guys, I got something awesome to show you in today's episode. But welcome to episode 3 of the Pixel Gun 3D Free to Play 2.0 series. Thank you so much for the love and support on the previous episodes. Before I do get into this, I have to start on a negative note. Because in the comments section, there has been a couple of allegations. <laughs> Aliyah commented, saying... How do you have the BP weapons already? And Peace Out said, I thought I was the only one that noticed that. Two comments down, William PG3D said, The reason he has them is because he is a content creator. So the devs give him the weapons to test. So this happened with the previous free to play series. People accuse me, they don't believe it's a free to play account. They think the developers just give me everything that I want. Now, it's a little bit disheartening that some people actually think this. So let me just break this down and just explain what you guys are seeing. So if I go to Armory, for example, and we go to the backup section, you guys can see it shows the Flaming Fury. I don't actually have this weapon. If we go to the Sniper and we check out the Knight's Crossbow, I don't actually have these weapons. What Pixelgun 3D do is they show them inside of the armory so new players, existing players, see them. They'll tap on the weapon and be like, oh, I can buy this, but you can't. It will then take you to the Pixel Pass, which then you have to purchase the Pixel Pass. It's just like a promotional tool. I don't actually own them. For the likes of the primary, I don't actually own the Photon Shotgun. I gotta win it. I don't actually own a lot of these weapons. You gotta, you gotta earn them. You gotta win them. The likes of the Aerobrus, I don't actually own them so although i am a pixel gun creator i'm not denying that i have three accounts in pixel gun 3d and only one of them ever gets weapons from the developers i get them early so i can show you and test them and give feedback and that is my main account only the middle one and that is it the developers don't just go there you go echo there's ten thousand gems and ten thousand coins it doesn't work like that I would have to request it. The developers know I'm doing a free-to-play series. So they're not going to give me gems and coins or weapons. It doesn't work like that. They didn't touch my first free-to-play account or series at all. And they're not going to be touching this account at all. You guys have to remember, not only is this a free-to-play series, it's also a guide and tutorial to bring in new players and show new players how to play this game. If I was to get gems and coins, not only would I be cheating myself, but I'd be cheating you guys as well. And that's not something I would like to do. So I hope that cleans up the allegations. Also, another question I get is, hey, Echo, how come you don't have ads on the top left or right of your screen? If you're free to play, you have ads. Well, if you have one paid account, which is my main one, then the other two also benefit as well. And for those of you that have done free to play yourself, you would exactly know this situation. So I thought we'd start with the negative well, let's get into the positive. Over the past two episodes, we've been non-stop opening the novice chests, trying to get a specific weapon. Now, you guys will know that that weapon is no longer inside of here because over the weekend, I watched tons of ads and managed to get the poison darts. Now, you guys informed me in the comment section, you can't get this in the gallery. You can't purchase this in game. You can only now get it from chests. What an absolute bargain. I also managed to get myself... Uh, oh, do I not have gallery? Oh, I got a skin? No, I don't got a skin for it. Do I not have access to the gallery with this weapon? I actually don't have access to the gallery yet. Okay, so obviously I was checking if I could get it inside the gallery, but I can't access it. Now, I'm not going to upgrade this yet. We need to focus on ranking up before we do anything like that. But we now own the poison darts. Now, like I said, I do get a lot of negative comments, but the positive massively outweigh the negative. Subject 3717 shouted, Pixel Echo, please tell the new players in your next episode the 50 key chest is the best price for parts. Yes, it is more worth than the 10 key and 250 key chests for parts. Fantastic comment. So lottery. I've been doing a lot of novice chests because like I said, you guys have been trying to get the uh, poison darts. So I forgot to mention this. The 50 keys are the best place to go for parts. They're better than the 250s as well. So for best value for money, new players stick to the fighter chests. I've got 40 keys. We need 10 more. And that's the reason why I've been saving them. I know you guys are going to be really tempted to open these. I've been getting these chests 
just by watching the free ads, I've been trying to get the Zeus. And I love that you guys are commenting saying, hey, Echo, I've been following apart. I've been following along and I've been trying to get certain weapons. And you guys managed to get the darts, the Zeus, and the heavy weapon that I got. Anyway, new ads. Let's, wa let's watch an ad and open a chest. Okay. Honestly, the Zeus is the only thing inside of here I'm trying to get. That was either gems or parts. Three extra gems. Watching those ads is such a blessing. Oh, I don't know what that was. Yes! <laughs> That's what it was. It didn't sound the same as what it previously sounded like. That means we managed to get all the best possible things inside of there so far. I do need to work on a better sniper. And I do like the impulse sniper, but I'm going to be saving because look what's coming up. Progress Road is coming up and we can get ourselves the prototype. So let's go and play some games. First game with the poison darts. All right, let's see how we do. So we've got ourselves poison darts. Bro, there's no way it's going to be always a one-shot kill. Surely not, right? Can't be that good. Got to reload though. Bro's got to reload. Oh, did I get him? Got the assist for that. I want to try poison darts a lot more for sure dead and get rid of his gadget if we can come on you know what i wish honestly i was looking at like what's coming next it's like modules related things i i, I wish pixel gun never had modules like modules kind of ruin this game what about the melee first time with a kill with this come on two shot three shot kill there are we popping off still i'm glad that i'm starting to actually find some players though has he got dragon Oh, he had ni the nitrogen sprayer, I think that was then. As a low level, that could also be really good for you. Yeah, bro, I'm getting so many kills with this. And again. <laughs> Somebody's, someone's shooting me. I don't know where they are, though. I'm going to put this right here. No, he's going to ruin my gadget, isn't he? Darn it, bro. No, he didn't. He didn't actually kill. He didn't destroy my gadget. He died, I think. He actually died. We got these guys a little bit spawn trapped. That person's got quite a lot of the new stuff, though. At least. They destroyed my gadget. They got pets. No pets this early on is a good idea, though. Yes! One more! Yes! And again! Oh! Yo, they're catching up slowly. Bro, I love the poison darts here. Ah, see, he spent that money on that. We know shotguns are really good, but I'm being smart and trying not to spend too much too early. Got his gadget. Don't die by that gadget, bro. Don't die by it. I'm also doing challenges. That's why I've not got any armor on, by the way, guys. There's challenges for me to do. Don't let them steal your kills. Echo one more. Yes! Did he die? Come on. Oh, SWAT rifle. Why is everybody going in that one corner? Dead. Grenade. Gotta rely on the heavies a little bit here. Are you telling me I didn't kill him? That did. One more. Come on with this. Trying to get those headshots with it. I mean, the weapon they've got now is actually pretty decent to start with. Machine guns. Wow, okay. Going straight to our spawn. At least he's trying to. I love how clueless a lot of players are early on. Like, this is like one of my favorite things about Pixel Gun 3D. Did you get him? Get him, Echo, one more time. Dude, he's poisoned or bleeding at least. I wish I... I, I kind of want to upgrade this. I'm not going to, but I want to. There you go. He did die. The poison or bleeding or whatever it is on it did its job. See, we're slowly starting to catch up a little bit, by the way. Ooh, okay. We got the victory. How, how many How many did we get? 20 kills. Bro, where, what happened to my team? They all just decided to disappear. Also, come on. Come on. It did? Okay. We managed to get Pet Dragon, and we managed to get ourselves uh, the prototype, which I might make the purchase for the prototype here. Next, modules are coming up, which I don't want. I wish they were a lot higher of a thing in Pixel Gun 3D. But can we just purchase the prototype? I am. This is actually going to be my first purchase. For those unaware, this is a wall break. Now, I know a lot of people might say, wait until you get anti-hero or the original anti-champion. Yeah, they're good. But I really liked the prototype as a low-level player. 
We've also managed that's parts. I would have to buy that as well. So a couple of different weapons on offer. They're clan related weapons, but nothing that sticks out in order for me to change. However, we do now have access to rewards of choice. Now, my best advice here is when this pops up is to go for the currencies. Modules are also not a bad offer as well, but I think early on we can definitely benefit from uh, gems. I'm going gems all the way. Later on, you'll thank yourself. I did see one of the offers is the Pixel Pass credits, but I think getting them is a little bit easier than getting gems as a new player. And all you need to do is watch 30 ads. So I'm going to do this as many times as possible, but just not right now. We now have access to the lucky boards. Once again, an incredible place to get weapons as well. You just got to watch yourself 10 ads every single day. The fact that we've got access to so many currencies early on is so much better than when I first did the free to play series. We also have a lot going on within the pixel pass as well. Again, I don't, can't quite purchase this, but we can get a whole bunch of free content here. We did manage to get our team fight one done as well. So focus on this. Even if you haven't purchased the season, it can still be incredibly useful for you because you will still get free rewards. I don't think any of them are Pixel Pass currency related, though. We've got an extra two rewards here. That's gone straight to level 25. So we'll see if we got anything good there. So we need to get ourselves boosters. They are super useful. And we do have a cosmetics chest. Now, a lot of you guys have told me in the comment section to use my 200% XP booster and go and play the green light or red light. The, the that, that game mode is apparently meant to be good for it. We just got a skin there, I think. So I guess what we could do here... It's only available for an hour. I'll see what happens when I try it with a 25% XP booster. Low players, this is really good. And yes, this is basically Squid Game. And you just got to keep going. Make it to the end as fast as you can. But they're all moving, so they are going to get zapped. And wait for it to say run again. Go, 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 go. Oh, you got zapped right in front of me. Dude was zapped right in front of my face. Oh, he was lucky then. We're in second place though, apparently. Come on, he was moving. <laughs> I need this guy to die because I think if you win, it's so much better for you, right? Keep going, Echo. Stop. Nobody got zapped that time. Run. Gonna stop a second. I don't trust this game enough. I just gotta keep moving. Doesn't matter if anyone else dies, by the way. You just gotta make it. Just focus on getting across. Second place. We don't like that. I don't like the fact that we're in second place, boys and girls. Come on, Echo! Get the get the win! I gotta get to the middle though. I think he just died. I'm gonna stop here. Ooh, that was close! Get me across this. I just gotta see how many things you actually do get for this. Yes! We finished in first place. But apparently the rewards of this are meant to be good. So I wanted to debug this and see if this was actually true. I got XP boosted as well as 25. I think if you have a 200% XP booster, obviously it's going to give you a lot more. So it's not a bad game mode to actually use to do this. But this is where modules come into play. And this is where things get a lot harder. Because modules are a very big part of Pixel Gun 3D now. And for those of you that are new, you have to upgrade these all the time. And you have to go ahead and place them on your weapons. By placing modules on your weapon, you do end up with special abilities. They're kind of like extra gadgets. This one is, decreases weapon dispersion and allows shooting without spending ammunition. Now, as we get higher, I'll start to talk more about the module situation. Not available for the backup. I don't think there's any available. That's just a skin. I don't think there's any available for this either. So, again, as I gradually start to rank up, more mod modules are going to pop up for me to use. Uh, only available for the primary weapon. So, yeah, as of right now, 
don't worry too much. But what we do have, just by watching ads that pop up, is enough for our first 50. Anything inside of here is a bonus, but I'm probably not going to be getting any of the new weapons anytime soon. So in here, I typically want currencies or an actual weapon itself. There you go. I'll take it. Although we don't really need the Archangel right now. We got a better one. So a lot of you guys will notice that we are playing a lot of the classic. And that is pure and simply because it's the most active map. It seems to be like one of the maps that the developers throw new players into. That's probably one of the reasons why. He's got he's got some pretty good weapons there. But let me show you. Dude, it's prototype, guys. Go for the prototype. Trust me. It is by far the best one. Now, don't forget, we do have modules on this now. And I did upgrade the modules because it only cost me five uh, coins. We've got plenty of coins quite early on here. So this thing is so good. I think it's going to be a one shot every time. Come on, hit this guy. No, maybe not. But then we can just switch really easily to uh, this weapon. Did he get me then? He did, didn't he, right? Here we go. I don't think so, Chief. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about, boys. Just got to get those wins. Stole my kill. Stole my kill. Come on, waiting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, he's using Death Star. He's dead. Another guy there? Gotta be. There you go. There we go, boys. Kind of trapped in this little area right now, though. Dead. One more. See what I mean? Do you see how much better we are than the other players because of the, the decisions we made? And again, these guys are only going to be very, very similar on level to you and me. I don't know who that guy is, though. Where is he? Missed him. Missed him. Come on. Got enough for a kill there. We got that one, though. We stole that one. This loadout is actually really impressive for a very new player. <laughs> Feels good. I'm also learning from my previous series as well. That's something else I am taking into consideration. These guys... Oh, he, he figured out how to get up top with me. He did. He did figure out how to get up top with me. Must be a previously old new player as well. Dude, look at this. Look at this. We've got it going, boys. We got it going for us for sure. Oh, bro, what? The bot got me there. I don't think I had a good chance to test this out that much, though. We'll try it. Let's give it a go. Where is he? Following me? Not following me. All right, one, two, three. Three-shot kill with this. Okay, that's not too bad. But I got to see how powerful modules are then. The difference, dude. The difference modules make in this game. Always make sure you've got modules on your weapons when you got the chance, by the way. The difference they make. Aha, he's starting to play and starting to rank up too. I don't think they're going to have as many points as I am. They're going to be doing all right too. All right, boys. Got him. Come on. Oh, I was trying to steal a couple of kills in there. Yes. I am a huge fan of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got a rocket jump off. I seen him. He went for Peacemaker. Not bad. Not a bad weapon choice, but 29 kills. Tons of XP there. There's the boosted XP straight to 50. I gotta bump myself to level 7, and then we can start upgrading a couple of things. A few moments later. Skipped ahead a little bit. Managed to get myself to level 7, extra keys and coins, and a couple more weapons are also available, as well as duels and weapon loadouts. Also, remember, we have the hub. Inside of the hub, you can get some rewards. Remember to do these if they are also available for you. At this point, again, ads are going to pop up. Just watch them. Now that I am level 7, I am able to upgrade my turret, which is something I am going to do, because we can't upgrade this for quite some time. As for the grenades, I'm not going to go with that. In fact, I'm not going to go with any other throwing gadget at this moment in time. Remember, your armor is also important to upgrade as well. And I can't upgrade this until the next level, but it's quite cheap to do. So definitely something I'm going to focus on. As for the boots, well, I don't know if I want to risk that at all, to be honest. I think for now, I'm going to wait and see what you guys say in the comment section. But I really hope you guys are enjoying the free-to-play series. Next episode, we're going to have lucky board spins. And don't forget, we can watch the ads, which I think it's the reward of choice. It's right there. I just got to watch 30 ads. 
really easy to do. Let's get 2,000 likes and I'll bring you the next episode. Have a wonderful day.